Добрый день, привет. Как дела? How is it going? Все хорошо. With the YouTube channel Russian in Practice, you proceed with your journey towards the free conversation in Russian. In order to learn to understand dialogues that are related to the past events, and in order to learn to speak about things that happened some time ago, let's see the verb to be in the past tense. It is one of the most important stages in the study of the Russian language. My name is Anna, I'm Russian and I'm a language teacher. Till now you have described and heard about things that happen usually or always or are happening without using the verb to be. For example, это машина, это женщина, я из России. In these phrases the verb to be, быть, is absent. In the Russian language, the verb to be is not used in the present tense, at least not the way it's used in English. Well, you actually know one form of the verb to be in the present tense. You said it lots of times when you spoke about things you have or that you possess. For instance, у меня есть телефон. У вас есть фортепиано. The word есть is exactly the form of the verb to be in the present tense. And even this form, есть, of the verb to be, is not always used in this construction. Sometimes we omit it. In the past tense, on the contrary, we use more than one form of this verb. Let's discover them now. What's the English for знать? To know. How would you say, I know? Я знаю. Я знаю. Now, what about, I knew or I have known? We just deprive the verb of its last two letters and to the rest, зна, we add the letter L if the subject is of the masculine gender or LA if the subject is feminine. So if it's a man, we say ON знал, he knew. If it's a woman, we say ANA знала, she knew. Now let's take the verb to be. In its infinitive form, it's BUIT. Let's say it more times. BUIT. Быть. Please pay attention to your pronunciation. It's not but, neither beat. The vowel is u. Быть. At the end, it's not t, but t. To be, быть. Now, let's keep in mind the rule of the past tense of all the other verbs. Try to understand these phrases. Парень был здесь. What does it mean? The guy was here. It can also mean the guy has been here, which is still the same form in Russian. Now this one. Вчера я была в ресторане. Yesterday I was in a restaurant. What about this phrase? Вы были там? It's a question that means were you they or have you been they? You have just discovered the verb to be in the past tense, at least one of its few forms. Были. It's the basic form быть in the past tense. Были. So, as you can see, we get the past tense of this verb the same way we would get the past tense of any other verb. You take the infinitive, быть, and after having thrown away the last two letters, you add the past tense ending that you need. This way we obtain the four forms of this verb in the past tense. The masculine form is был. The feminine form is 
Bula. The neuter form is Bula. The plural form for all the genders is Bili. Pay attention to the stress. In the feminine form, it's on the letter R, Bula. In all the other forms, it's on the letter U. Bul, Bula, Bili. Let's say them again in their classical order. Bul, Bula, Bula, Bili. Great, you're making progress. You have already seen more than half of this lesson. Very good. Now let's see the same forms of the word to be, быть, with the negative particle, not, не. We are going to learn it apart, since the stress becomes very important here. Ready? Не был. Не была. Не была. Не были. When we use the verb to be, the stress can be on the negative particle not instead of the verb itself. Не был. Не были. Now, my question is, which form still remains with the stress on the verb? The only form is the feminine one. Не была. You only see the translation into English with she wasn't. This way the screen is clear enough for you to see the most important rule. But the meaning of this form may also be she hasn't been or she hadn't been. Anna не была. How would you say he wasn't? Он не был. Он не был. What's the Russian for you were not addressing at least two people? Вы не были. Вы не были. Excellent. If you manage to translate these expressions with no mistakes, it's really awesome. Let's revise the affirmative form in brief. What's the Russian for they have been here. Они были здесь. Они были здесь. What about this one? She has been there. Она была там. Она была там. Very good. Отлично. Revise this lesson in order to learn the details to a better degree. Please remember that rushing or being in a hurry is your worst enemy if you study a foreign language. Get more and more self-assured when speaking Russian by revising the same lessons several times. This is the best way for you to proceed with the good humor and with lots of energy.